<laughs> the hospital grapevine was to tell you about Noah Drake. Uh-huh, you told him. I gave him a few details. Yeah. Just, uh, you know, no sordid, no good stuff. <laughs> Every time she mentions his name, her knees shake under the table. <laughs> What's the deal, Ruby? Have you met him? Well, you can check him out for yourself. He's right on his way over here. <clears throat> Hi, Noah. Hello. I didn't see you come in. I saw you. It's hard to miss that red hair. How are you doing, Ruby? Very well, thank you, Dr. Drake. Hi. Hi. Oh, um, no, I'm sorry. Um, I would like you to meet the most important man in my life. You must be Luke. She talks about me, huh? <laughs> yeah. Nice to meet you, Luke. Yeah. Why don't you join us? Uh, pull up a chair. No, no, no. He can have my chair. I've got to go back to work. Me too. Um... It's probably a good time for you two to get acquainted. Yeah, the timing on this worked out perfectly. Well, perfect or not, Bobby and I are due back at work. Nice to see you again, Ruby. You too. Bye, babe. Mm -hmm. Uh, Luke, yeah. I'll get those art things ready in the lobby for you. All right, I've only got time for one trip. I've got to get back to work. But, um... You have got one terrific sister there. Yeah, yeah, nobody knows that better than me. She loves you a lot. I love her a lot. We got a real special relationship. Yeah, she told me how uh, the two of you would uh, look after one another you had since you lost your folks. She told you about that? Yeah. Oh, she's told you a lot. Yeah, quite a bit. Well, any friend of Barbara Jean's is a possible friend of mine. <laughs> and new friends have to be run by you to stay friends, right? Well, I'm sort of the obligatory uh, protective big brother type. Uh, does that bother you? No, I don't. It's just been a long time since somebody asked me if my intentions towards a lady were honorable or not. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm sure. <coughs> so are they? <laughs> I like your style, Luke. You didn't answer my question, though. You know, I gotta say, Luke, you're very upfront. I try to be when it has to do with my sister. I don't like to play games. She's too important to me. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, we met in New York. I guess she told you that. Yeah, she told me. And I took her out the first night, and I came out a little strong, turned her off. She let me know. I won't make that mistake again. Don't. Don't hurt her, man. I like her a lot. She's a lot of fun to be with. Sparkling personality. Yeah. Red hair, <laughs> gorgeous and giggles. Under all that, there is a very sensitive woman. Are you in for a big brother lecture or what? Oh, no, no, I don't want to come off like that, man. It's just, uh, um, Bobby has been dumped on too much. And uh, if she gives her heart, it's for keeps. I remember that. Uh, I have no intention of hurting you. Good. If I did, I wouldn't have stuck around for this little scene. I mean, I know why your aunt and Bobby split, so you could check me out. <laughs> oh, you're no dummy. <laughs> All right. From what she told me about your relationship, I expected something like that. Well, uh, do I pass? This is not a test. Look, just for the record, Barbara Jean Spencer is a totally independent woman. I have no say in her personal life, and I don't want it. But we do look after each other now and then because we have to. I don't want to see my sister hurt. She won't be. Then it's uh, none of my business. It's between the two of you. But if I ever have to come around to pick up the pieces, it becomes my business. You don't have a thing to worry about, Luke. It's nice to meet you, Dr. Drake. I'll see you around. I'm sure you will. Come on. Yeah.